Hi guys. Um, I just want to share a bit of uh, my testimony, how I became a Christian. I'm Stephen. Uh, you might have seen me leading worship uh, occasionally. Uh, I um, I grew up in a Christian family. Both my parents were Christian, and uh, a lot of the foundational truths were kind of instilled into me uh, as a young child. But really, uh, growing up, the testimonies and the life in which a lot of the people around me lived really secured my faith as I was growing up and, and through my teenage years. I saw a lot of things that just kind of blew my mind and um, really seeing the love uh, that Christ brought in, into people's lives within situations that didn't make sense to love um, really secured my faith and one of those people is my dad he um, travels uh, the world um, nearly some, some years 70 nations a year and seeing him act in the way he does in in, in, in the household was very much um, it really really helped me secure my faith because I could see the outworking of God's love within his life and as I say there were many other people as well as I was growing up that I saw kind of that love really being worked in that uh, in, in those people's lives and and that was something that drove me forward and I, I've, I've, I've always had a desire to develop my relationship with Christ and it's certainly been um, a bumpy, I would say, 10 years or so, trying to run the race essentially, to keep going, to focus on him and him dealing with things in my life uh, that were painful and a lot of things that um, needed to be discarded. Um, and the Lord's been showing me so many things. And I just thought I'd share one one thing that's maybe a bit more recent. Uh, so um, I'm a software engineer. I work for a company called Science Park. And uh, the last year I've been working on a project, a fairly complex one. And due to the kind of nature of the company and the lack of resources and other such things, which I'm going to, I've been really solely working on this, this project. And we have a new guy joined. He was very, uh, very blunt. He was very, he was kind of a disruptor. <laughs> he um, scrutinised a lot of the, the methods that were employed within the, not just the development team, but the whole com the company as a whole. And you know, looking back, it was it was very good. But at the time, um, he he said some things about the way in which I was you know, working on this project and how it was kind of integrating with it the product that I took to heart, that I was a personal attack, even though it wasn't. And he, you know, he said some things that kind of knocked my confidence and it kind of drove me to, to feel you know, quite anxious about my work and what I was doing and I became, became quite closed. I didn't really want to open up about what I was doing, I wanted to make sure that it was perfect because um, I wanted to please him, I wanted to please others in the company and make sure that I didn't have that feeling of what I was doing was wrong. And it wasn't healthy, it wasn't very good and it wasn't helping my state of mind and it kind of, I started bringing work home and started working over time. I found myself kind of trapped. The Lord uh, there then um, revealed to me um, a few things that I was doing that meant um, I was that, that, that kind of caused me to feel this way and I came to the Lord and I said Lord I, I confess that I had been uh, putting myself uh, in front of in front of you and I just asked Jesus to show me what I needed to do in order to change what did I need to do what was the process of repentance that I need to put in my life. Um, 
and there were two things that I believe the Lord showed me that turned everything on its head. And the first thing was um, that life is precious. And I knew it in my, in my head, but I didn't really know it in my heart. And I, the, the Lord said, look, every moment of every day is an opportunity to live for me. And I wasn't, I wasn't seeing life in that way. And he started showing me, look, you need to hear from me within the things that you are doing. And that was the second thing. It was what you are doing is for your own gain. It is for um, people to see you in a particular way so that you feel satisfied and that I feel good about myself. And it, and it was all about me. And Lord was saying, trying to say, look, listen to my voice and listen to what I'm saying about the work that you're doing and do the things that you're doing at work for my glory. And I started to do that. Started, and it meant that the things that were weren't said weren't, weren't so good about it. I didn't feel like it was a personal attack anymore because it wasn't about me. It was about, it was about Christ and it was about what the, the piece of work was bringing to the company. It wasn't about me. Um, and that was a huge kind of revelation for me within the workplace. And the other thing that that meant was that I started to um, love others in the work that I was doing. So I wasn't thinking about myself and what how it would make me feel, but what was it making other people feel? So what can I do for others through the things that I was doing? And the Lord was saying, look, you need to put, volunteer for issues, volunteer for doing things that people don't want to do. Help them, be with them, do things together and uh, love those around you. And and even this, this guy who kind of scrutinized my work, you know, help him, be there for him, ask him if there's things that you can you can do to help him and and just love those around you and don't be thinking about how it affects you but how it affects others and that was uh, employing those changes in my life it made a huge difference it was a massive weight off my shoulders and I really saw the benefits of those of those two things that, that so that's just a little uh, just something that the Lord has been working on in my life recently. I hope that's blessed you and um, thank you for, for listening.